Hey folks, it's Stacy here, Stacy from Homestead on the Hill. And uh, today I've got my friend Brian here, the mechanical genius, and we're going to um, put a new blade on the Bozeman bandsaw. And we're gonna try anyway, we're gonna give it our best effort. Can we do it? Stay tuned, let's find out if we can. First things first, uh, safety. Engage the emergency stop. And over here, you can't see it from over there, but there's an on off. So just turn it to the off position. And that way, oh, there's Percy. Hey, come over here, look at this. Percy the frog is right here. Goodness gracious, that's old Percy. Oh, there's a freaking frog right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's a frog or a toad. Anyway, um, it's, so it's, you know, you, we, you joke around about safety a lot, but it's actually when you're dealing with something like a, like a bandsaw or a bandsaw mill, you don't want to be messing around because, bam, you know, fingers off, or hand off, catastrophic. So you got you to respect it and stay, stay safe. Okay. Okay. The first thing we had to do was take the um, existing blade off because when we were running it, we don't know why, but it popped off. And so it knocked the um, points off of a bunch of the teeth. So that one has to go for sharpening. In order to get the, the blade off, what we did was down here, this piece was attached there. And so what we did was we, we took this off. You want to come in, pull it closer? Watch your legs on that blade. We took this piece here off of here so that, so that we could get the blade out of there. I'm not sure if that's actually how, um, if that's what they call according to Hoyle, but that's what we did. And what we're going to do now is bring, Brian, you want to bring that one around this side? Yep. <clears throat> what we're going to do now is uh, attempt to put the a new blade on and we grabbed I ordered these from the wood miser saw company do you have more than one glove no that's all you need okay okay you got that side yeah but put the bottom of the trap first right here there we go okay you see how that goes in down here and then that's on <coughs> this is the um, driven wheel and that's the driving wheel the engine is on that one and it spins that one and then that this one here just follows it so what we need to do is get these so that they're the same distance from here to here and there to there so that it's um running um square what we're going to do now is as you can see brian the hatless one we're going to adjust these blocks here these are the blade guides this little copper line here that's the water lubricant thing what do the blade guides do brian uh they don't quite touch the uh, blade but what it does is when you're actually cutting and the log is pushing against here they support the blade from moving they guide it yeah 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 and so this one here this one is adjustable and so depending on where so if you're cutting a really narrow log a little narrow beam you'd have that slid in but if you got a bigger log you obviously slide it. and you keep it just at a comfortable distance from the log because you don't want the blade so that way this blade isn't go doing the heebie-jeebies and hobbling around so say i'm cutting this timber here let to finish this cut then i would have it just wide enough so that you're not going to hit the guide See, that, uh, see, it's not really turning right now. So the bearing, I'm gonna use my pointer instead of my finger. So the bearing, that's the bearing. And you see how it's barely, barely bearing. 
these guide the blade as the blade's turning. Okay, so we'll give it just, it, it's actually moving a little, so we'll just give back it, it off a little bit. Oh, we'll let so it actually want... find its own happy spot. Okay, still turning. Right there. See how yeah, it's yeah. just touching, barely. Okay. We'll call that one good enough. Okay. Well, actually, I should, that's the adjustment here. My teeth! My teeth! Some are here, some are there. <laughs> I was a famous NHL player. That's why my teeth look like this. Okay, so you know, your delivery tube for water needs to be adjusted, but that's okay. Yeah. We'll do this one next. Remember, folks, this is a very sharp blade. Don't put your face near it. You know, I think that one's pretty good. It's only touching every now and then. On mine is on this end here. Yeah, yeah. So is this one. So I'll just make sure they're both tight. Okay. Four twenty. It's easy to start. True story. We turned the fuel on. The little lever there. We turned the choke to the choke position. I pulled it once and it, and it just fired. Uh, popped. Second time, literally, it started. Okay, update. That's where the clutch goes. That's the clutch there. And if you look in the back here, there's a little little square groove. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, there's a square groove. And in that, that groove matches up with that groovy groove. And there's a little piece of, little square piece of metal that goes in there. And it's called a key. It's cut from key stock. It seems that the key has disappeared. So where's the little bolt that holds it? Oh, the bolt, we put the bolt back in here. Right there. Uh, for whatever reason, that bolt came loose. The clutch shot out of there and went shoot and landed down there. And there's no evidence of the key. Or the washer. Or the washer. And we have searched the ground down here. And we also ran a powerful magnet over the ground. And we have searched all up in here, all these little flat surfaces where the key could have landed, to no avail. So, we're stuck for the day. We're going to have to go down to the hardware store and get a piece of key stock and cut a new key and get a new washer. A new washer would go in behind here to hold this thing in place. That's it for the day for this thing. Okay, folks, so yesterday at the beginning of the video, I said, will we make the sawmill work? Well, yes, we did. However, I'm sitting here clutching my pearls. Actually, I'm clutching the clutch, which has a, as I showed you earlier, has a little bolt. And there should be a washer over the top of it here and the bolt holds that on so that this stays on the engine so when it's running it doesn't fly off and disable your entire sawmill so we had a success in the fact that we got the tracking to work we figured out how to adjust the tracking and we had it so that it was tracking accurately and correctly um we did not have a success in the fact that we did not manage to make the third cut on this cant and this, this timber that we're trying to cut. So, as I do, I'm going to pack it in for the day and head back to Princess Auto to say, hey, I need a washer and we need a little piece, a metal, little metal bar that goes in here and it connects onto the shaft that keeps it so this spins in sequence with the engine. So, success, tracking, awesome no success at actually cutting any lumber because I blew my clutch off. So that's it for today. Stacy from Homestead on the Hill, do me a favor, like this video, give it the thumbs up, 
and subscribe. I'm still driving towards a thousand subscribers. I'm already just over 700 and some. So if you can be another one, that would be helpful. Um, be well and see if I'm back next week. Thanks everybody. Bye for now.